Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Green Side Up. Now today I'm here with, these are my potato pots, the last of them. And this variety is Sarpomira and I've just been clearing off all the foliage, trying to clear away some weeds, just basically tidying up. Now on the floor were these things. Now, it'll be in the high 90% of gardeners out there who know exactly what these are and are saying as such right now, I know what they are. These are potato seed. Uh, some people call them true potato seed. But as potatoes are the same part of the family as, or as they are in the same family as tomatoes, they actually look a bit like tomatoes. Now the problem with these is they're highly poisonous. At uh, best they're gonna give you mild, you know, a mild tummy ache with perhaps cramps, and at worst they're gonna kill you. So just be aware of those. On some varieties, especially these Sarpo Mira, you get a lot of these uh, coming along and it's best to clean them up. I mean, here's one here that's just separated itself and that will have thrown, you can actually see the seeds in there and will send up volunteers next year and the variety is not guaranteed. You could get absolutely anything any type of potato from that. So you don't really want them on your ground either because they'll send up volunteers next year. But you really need to get rid of these. And I'm gonna take these home and put them in the council, uh, the local council collection bin because they'll get high, high heat composting and all these seeds will die. But especially be aware of this in your potato patch, especially if you've got kids who might come along and think, oh, that looks nice and tasty. It looks like a tomato, I'll eat that. So. Just be aware of them. And so that's all I've picked up. And the, I know that all these are from these pots here, which there's about a dozen. So a dozen plants and I'm getting all that. And there's probably more yet for me to pick up as I clear these pots away. But there we go. So now that we've tidied up a bit around here, I think we should have a look at one of these. We'll see what they're like. I say these are Sarpomira. That one's rotten. I'm not sure that's a seed or not. Not looking too bad. Normally of a much bigger stamp than this, to be honest. Sarpos. I mean, they're not bad, don't get me wrong, I'm not whinging. There's too many small ones, really. Yeah, I think that's about it. Oh. <laughs> There's probably three in there that you can see on camera that I haven't seen. That's reasonable, I suppose. You always want big bulging baskets or tubs, don't you know? <laughs> no, I think that's it now. There we go, yeah, not too bad. So there's Sarpo Mira. Yeah, they're not bad. Ooh. Looks like we've got rodent damage on here. Right. Anyway, there we go. And I'm gonna pull a couple of leaks as well today.
These were multi sown earlier in the year, obviously, very early in the year. And they'll benefit from a frosting that will come in the next couple of months. They'll become much sweeter, but they'll clean up nice. And I just love the sweet flavour of a leek, so yeah, happy with them. We're going to clean them up a bit. So I want some carrots as well today. So. Oh, nice. I'll see if I can get you in a bit closer. So here's inside the box. Um, just continue pulling these rows. These are nice. I think these might be burlicum. But they're all a... Uh, all a pretty good size, but I want to take this whole row out really. So excuse me, I might actually be getting in the way of the camera just now. There's an alien, lovely. There we go, I'm going to give them a wash off. Here we go, so we took another bucket of swads up and we've got a nice lot here for the next week or so and a few cleaned leaks, they're sort of what I would call kitchen ready they've still got muck on them, still need cleaning in the kitchen sink as do the carrots, carrots just need a gentle scrub and they're ready to rock and roll I won't even peel them before we eat them, just top and tail, give them a bit of a scrub and I'm actually thinking, as I've got so much there, and they're a good good size that I'm thinking I might actually make a soup out of these and I'm thinking normally I make a sort of a carrot and coriander but I'm thinking a carrot and caraway that's a lovely aromatic soup so we'll see anyway but there we go so that's my mini harvest for today what are you guys harvesting now let me know in the comments down below I've still got tons of stuff to come out and tons of stuff to put in I've got seedlings to pot on in there got all the microgreens to look at yet so it's still quite busy down here but I'm tidying up as I go through the plots hopefully I'll be in the back in the next couple of days where all the flowers are um, and there's a lot of work to do back there this year but anyway that's the harvest for today take them home and make some nice nice dishes with them look after yourselves everyone please stay safe I'll see you all very very soon Toronto <laughs>